we're going to do is we're going to learn how to improvise in key of E using an E minor pentatonic through a slow blues. And I'm just taking a slow blues uh, backing track. I typed in slow blues backing track in E. First thing that came up. <clears throat> now, how to play an E minor pentatonic just for review. Uh, and these are just exercises to help you get used to. If you've never soloed before, this is a great way to learn how to solo. Uh, one way. I'm not saying my way is the only way. It's not. Uh, so here is how we play an E minor pentatonic. Make it easy for you to see. You're going to go open E string, third fret, open A string, second fret, open D string, second fret, open G string, second fret, open B string, third fret, open E string, third fret. Backwards, third fret, open, third fret, open, second fret, open, second fret, open, second fret, open, third fret, open. So what we want to do first is you want to hear how the notes are going to actually sound when you're playing this um, with the chords. In this case, we're playing E blues, so it's just E, A, E7, A7, and B7. But each time the chords go by, a note will give a different uh, feeling to it. So we want to be able to uh, just do that in certain ways. So uh, first thing I want you to do is just play the scale. Through the chord progression. Next thing to do, let's take some note of the E minor pentatonic scale. We'll create a motif. And a motif is a relatively short melodic figure, so we're going to go. Our motif is going to go. Let me shut this out for a second. We're going to go three on the high E string, open high E string, third fret on the B string, and then a whole open E string. We have. And so we're going to just make a re repeated kind of motif doing that. It doesn't seem like much, but when the chords are going by, we can do that. So this is what we do. Alright, so we'll go. I'll do it again. Different, different areas of the chord progression. Notice I put a big bend on that third one. the open first string, okay, right there, so I can go.
some different notes. We'll go. So if I'll go second fret, shut that off again. Second fret on the G string. Open G. Second fret on the D string. And then open D. And then second fret on D. So we have. Again, it's all the notes from the E minor pentatonic scale going going. So we gotta put it through our chord progression. You don't have to like know. I mean, all those notes work through the E minor, E minor pentatonic. All the notes work through that, so it's a great way to learn how to solo. And you don't have to play a lot of notes. You just have to play those those notes, those licks I showed you. So again, I'll just review it. You're gonna go third fret on the thin string, open, third fret on the B string, and then open E string, the thin string. And then the other lick was. 3rd fret on the B string, open, 3rd fret on the B string, open. And then the other lick was 2nd fret on the G string, open G, uh, open D string, then 2nd fret. Something like that, if I remember. Sorry, go ahead. 2nd fret on the G string, open, 2nd fret on the D string, open D. Invent your own, like take some, take three or four notes and just make a melody out of it. The thing with the blues, it's all about um, question and answer, call and response, okay? And you have a question, or it might be, and the response might be, and there's a lot of repetition going on, and so this is the basis of all rock and roll and blues. And it's, it's, a, it's not too hard to do, you just have to fool around with it. And again, listen to a lot of blues recordings helps too. But that'll start you off. And all those notes of the E minor pentatonic will work. So I hope that helps. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.